What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. I'm his son, Devin. I got a sweet haircut, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you done? No. So in week two, we had to fix, stop, 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 stop. We're not done, no, don't do it yet. In week two, we had to fix a Teddy Rock spin, but we didn't have the cassette to test it. So we look in here and there's a loose belt. It's not even on. So well, I'm just I just, put it back on. well, it fell off. Oh. When I opened it, it fell off, but it was a loose belt in there. But the Teddy Rock spin is all apart. We're gonna fix them later and post that video. Week three is a modern game console made after the year 2010. Let's get right into it! A Switch. All right, Nintendo Switch. And it's only the Switch, it doesn't have any games or anything. It's just the, just the unit. It doesn't even have the kickstand. It's not detecting a signal. It's probably because it's completely dead. So it is reading five volts. Oh, the pins are all bent in there. That's why it's not working. You probably got plugged in. The pins in there are all mangled. Let me see. Can you see that? Can I see it? You see the bent pin? There's a few of them. Now here is the breakdown. I got the Nintendo Switch broken on eBay for $80.75. Then I purchased the charging port type C for $6.65 on Amazon and that totals to be $87.40. So hopefully I could get it working and sell it for profit, maybe like 100 to $150 whatever I can get that's in puts me in the profit for the challenge if not then I'm gonna sell it broken and hopefully get maybe around eighty to ninety dollars for it broken I'm gonna forewarn you guys if you're deciding to do this on your very first attempt you most likely will fail definitely practice using a junk board and the reason why I say this is because it there's an inside layer of pins that you can't see. You can't use a side iron to solder. You have to use a hot air station and flux, and you have to have a right combination of the temperature and fan speed to get this part properly soldered onto the board. And the best person to watch is Steve from Tronics Fix. Also, Vince from my mate. Vince, he does Nintendo Switch repairs as well. And Elliot from the Retro Future channel, he does a lot of retro game system repairs too. All their links will be in the video description below. But this is my first attempt and I'm gonna try to tackle it. That's why it's called a challenge. I'm gonna challenge myself to this repair. Dad? You didn't even see the screw, did you? Uh, nope. Where do you think there is a screw? I don't know. You're just like, oh, there's a screw somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, there. Piece of cake. You have to lift up on this latch. Try to lift back on it. Alright, you can do everything. Here, I got this. I got that. That's good. Just lift it up and then it slides out. Three, two, one, go. I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor. Pie, 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 pie. You said it too much. <laughs> oh my god. Start again. Start again. I baked you a freaking pie. No, no, there's no freaking in the song, Dad. I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor. Pie, 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 pie. You're saying pie too much. Pie, pie. <laughs> I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie, pie, pie. Dad, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. Why can you name this way? Why, why, why? Alright, that's the song. Now you have to upload that on your channel. Alright, and then this one. No? Oh yeah. Your hair is blocking everything. Oh, sorry. Let me get this thing off. Yeah, we need a. This is a really complex. Strong. 
Put some flux on the solder joints right here and here. Right there. And then up here. This one right here. Alright, and then this. Come on, you saw you watched the Tronics Fix video for this? Yeah. Got it. Oh my god, that took forever. Because look at the pins underneath. Add some flux to the area. Let's get some fresh solder on those pads. Have it set to 400 Celsius. The fan is on number three, which is around 25 percent fan speed now like I said there's a layer of pins underneath the port that you cannot get to with a solder iron so you have to use a hot air gun that's what makes this repair tricky is because you can't see the pins underneath the port so this usually takes 10 to 20 minutes I'm going to heat it up under here too as well. Uh, check the fuse. Good. Check the capacitor for a short. That's okay. This is the charging IC or the power IC for the, the charging port. That's okay. That's okay. That is okay. That is okay. These capacitors look good. The IC I don't think is bad. I'm not sure 100% though. I don't know if I have that IC. Probably not. Um, this is for I think the audio video. I'm not 100% sure. But I'll check those anyway. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. And that's okay. So, all right. Try it out and see what happens. All right, so my son's gonna put it back together and we're gonna see if it works. All right, there. Let's turn it on. No, put it back together. You have to move the wires. Oh, yeah, 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 to move the wires. I don't know if it's on or off. I don't know what, what else. It could be something else wrong with the Nintendo Switch. But I didn't read any shorted capacitors. The fuse is good. Capacitors are good. Maybe it's a bad IC, but I can't check that. HDMI 3 and what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? No signal. Press the power button. Nothing. I'm going to hit the sack, put this on eBay, see if I can get my money back. I'm pretty sure I can. But anyway, this one is a fail.
like if you like dislike if you disliked it or if you got some information out of out of this give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay updated on these ebay challenges thanks for watching guys bye